Welcome to this Cheetah to You sociology topic video on media, focusing on who owns the media, the 2023 update. The Media Reform Coalition releases a biannual report into ownership of the media, and their 2023 release highlights new trends in the ownership and usage of the media in the UK. The report not only focuses on traditional media forms such as newspapers and radio, but also looks at the ownership of new media sources and how people are increasingly interacting with new media as a source of news information and the implications that this has on society. In the 2023 report, it highlights how media is becoming increasingly concentrated into the hands of large media groups, something which goes against pluralistic arguments of a diverse and independent media landscape. In this video, we're going to look at some of the key headlines from this report that can be used to evaluate different theoretical arguments and provide evidence of an ever-changing relationship between owners and their audiences. The first part of the report we're going to examine is traditional newspaper ownership and the market share of different media groups. Whilst newspaper circulation is in decline with the growth of online news sources, many individuals still rely upon newspapers for their news information, and this often dictates their world view. The Media Reform Coalition highlight that just three media groups control 90% of UK newspaper circulation, with DMG, the Daily Mail with DMG, the Daily Mail Group, controlling over 40% of the circulation of newspapers. This includes both the Daily Mail and the Metro, which shows the influence that one single group has. News UK, which incorporates newspapers such as The Sun and The Times, as well as radio stations like Talk Sport and Virgin Radio, control almost a third of newspaper circulation, despite many controversies over the years. Reach publications, which includes the Daily Mirror and the Daily Express, make up the last. Reach publications, which includes the Daily Mirror and Daily Express, make up the third largest group, with almost one in six newspapers purchased being a Reach publication. Other groups, such as the Guardian and Telegraph, make up smaller percentages of readership. This concentration of newspaper circulation into the hands of a few is indicative of wider trends in media ownership and shows the influence of media editors and owners in being able to set agendas within print media. However, people are consuming their news from a wider range of sources. Newspaper circulation has significantly decreased over the last 20 years, and even since the previous publication of Who Owns the Media in 2021, there have been significant falls in newspaper circulation. Most notably, the Daily Star, Express and Mirror have had circulation drops over 20%, which is a general trend across all publications except one. The Metro, a free newspaper often read by commuters, bucked the trend, seeing an increased circulation of over 35%, largely as a result of increased placement in markets. What is more impressive about Metro's rise is that it comes on the back of reduced commuting to work in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic as more people work from home. The DMG Group publication is often distributed in railway stations and through public transport, and as it is free, circulation does not always reflect choice. However, it is a rare success story in a landscape of falling newspaper readership. Local newspapers show a similar trend, with 71% of local newspapers being owned by just six publishers. Over 40% are controlled by just two companies, Reach Publications and NewsQuest. This concentration of local news into the hands of large companies has impacted on the quality of local news reporting, however, with many stories and articles having less of a local focus and instead purchased from news agencies. Additionally, formatted articles were applied to local areas, both of which have led to accusations of journalism in local news coverage formulaic reporting that is cheap and less costly to produce. However, it can be argued that as newspaper circulation falls, cost cutting is inevitable, and that larger media groups are the only ones that are able to operate local news through having more efficient practices. The Media Reform Coalition also highlights how access to the news has changed in recent years, 
focusing on the ways in which people are increasingly using digital media in order to access the news. With the growth of digital media and the falling circulation of print media, more and more people are getting their news from online sources. And the report highlights how 10 of the top 15 sites used to access news are owned by three of the largest tech companies, Google or, or Alphabet, Meta, Facebook, and Xcorp, formerly Twitter. The range and scope of these three sites to influence individuals' opinions and provide information as news is alarming, particularly given the lack of regulation over content and previous scandals such as the Cambridge Analytica scandal. The Media Reform Coalition suggests that one in three people rely upon Facebook as their primary news source, and this can be argued to be unreliable. In contrast, one of the largest sources of information not controlled by these three companies is the BBC website, which is the primary source of news for 28% of users, according to the report. Indeed, the BBC ranks as the highest accessed source across all social media platforms, including Snapchat, WhatsApp, Twitter or X, Facebook and Google applications. This means that individuals are more likely to share information provided by the BBC with other traditional news broadcasters like Sky News, ITV and Scottish TV also being shared widely. There has been an increase in non-traditional platforms being used as news sources as well, with BuzzFeed, Loud Bible and YouTube also being widely accessed and shared as information. This does suggest that there is a greater pluralism in social media sites and how younger generations differ from older generations in how they access and distribute information. However, while new sources of information are growing, there is still a reliance upon more traditional, trusted sources of information from traditional media sources, even in the digital age. Finally, radio. The Who Owns the Media report highlights that like local newspapers, local radio is increasingly being concentrated into fewer hands. 65% of local radio stations are owned by Global Radio and the Bauer Media Group. If we include the further 11% of the market controlled by the wireless group, that means that 75% or three out of every four local radio stations are owned by just three media groups. With the growth of streaming services and declining audiences, local radio stations have often been unable to compete and been ripe for takeover by these big groups. This has led to more formulaic programming, with some off-peak radio programming being delivered nationally across different regions. As with local newspapers, this decline in ownership contradicts the pluralist argument, as big media groups control most of the market. This supports critical theories that suggest the existence of a mass culture whereby lower quality, mass-produced content is churned out, rather than being tailored to a specific audience. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on media, looking at the Who Owns the Media 2023 update. Thanks for watching.